first of all, my first idea is probably just to get this this door fixed. It's the first thing that has to happen. Okay, let's figure out how we're gonna fix this car door, shall we? Simple. YouTube University, baby. And the lock flips over by accident. And you take the door and you try to close it. And you can see the door don't close. See how it's open? And it just won't close. Uh, you don't want to slam it because if you slam it, you're going to damage the lock mechanism. What you want to do is you get yourself a can of spray lubricant and a screwdriver. You just open up the door, lubricant, and just give it a little bit of a a spray inside there. You don't want to use too much. And then you can just work it back and forth. All right, the main thing is that you don't want to slam the car door. If you continually slam the door, you're going to wind up damaging the, the latch itself, which is only made of plastic, and then you're going to have a bigger problem. If these two items work, shout out to Get It Done Home Repair on YouTube. Go follow, if it works. If not, maybe it's me, maybe it's user error. Unlock it first. Boop, boop. <laughs> Florida, it rains, it rains a lot uh, right around this time. So we're gonna wait it out a little bit. Should be gone in like 15 minutes. But in the meantime, I'm gonna hook up uh, my GoPro. I'm gonna put the GoPro on so I can use both of my hands because when I'm vlogging, it's kind of hard because I'm holding the camera with one hand. So I'm gonna put this on my head and then I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro to work on the door. So switching now. All right, GoPro on. Boom, there we go. Good to go, hopefully this is a good angle. Game on! Game on! All right, so it's telling me what I've read is maybe it's this latch right here. Yeah, this latch should be able to click over and it's not doing it. Now, I'd, I'm not sure if it's this latch here or it's the hinge over here because of the fact that when the car door closes it won't go all the way let's see what it is all right the main thing is that you don't want to slam the car door Okay, so judging by what we got going on, I think the door is is gonna be, it's not aligned correctly. So that's why it's not shutting uh, completely. Because if it was the latch or something wrong with the locking mechanism, it would be able to reach that latch as I'm going here, but it won't even, it won't even stay shut. So that leads me to believe that the door is not aligned correctly. So this little piece here that sticks out, it's like a bolt, it's this. You can adjust it just by screwing in and out. So what I'm gonna do is extend it a little bit more. But once I extend it, in order for it to keep straight, you have to add some kind of washer. So this washer here is not the proper one, but it will give me a little bit to test my theory that I might need a little bit more space to come out. So let's see if just for purposes right now oh, if that will work let's lift it up because if it was a if it's the alignment problem it should be
Let's try it now. Here we go. There we go. And now it's closed. See right here, the way it's not coming flush to the car, when it's closed, that means those hinges are off. So a little bit bigger of a problem than I anticipated. I wanna try to fix the door permanently, at least the best that I can. I went to Home Depot, as you see. Uh, first Advanced Auto Parts, they didn't have the piece I was looking for. Then Home Depot. Essentially, I just need a washer that has a, a cutout, so I can just slide it in to create that space so I can have this little nail or this bolt uh, stick out more. But I'm gonna have to completely remove the nail from the frame and then add the spacers in, it's just the way it is. All right. So if there was plastic paneling here, it'd be really hard, obviously, this cover would be on, and it'd be really hard to get in. But since there's not plastic paneling, I could reach my hand in and then hold the other hand, other side. Usually the piece might fall down, then it's stuck down down in there, and then you are looking for that piece. You gotta take off the whole paneling. We're gonna add two spacers. Now let's see if the door will shut. <laughs> All right, one thing down. <laughs> bye bye, bungee cord. Actually, this is my first time fixing a car door, so maybe I'll hold on to it for now. Woo! Who's this? What's your name? My name is Penny. Penny, are you going to help clean the car today? Yes. Okay, good. Being that this is a project car, and I kind of have to get some stuff done, and, and some stuff is really, can I can cut corners because the idea is to design this car, get, maybe get it wrapped, put some lights in it, and then start doing cool stuff with it. And like pimping out the trunk so I can get lights and stuff back there. So when I do, or oh, what's in the police trunk, it's a nice little look to it. So. The wheels, I'm eventually gonna change them, but for now, we gotta get rid of this rust, and I decided to buy some spray paint. All right, in no way am I saying this is gonna work and you guys should do this at home, but uh, hey, let's see if it works. Should have uh, maybe dried it a little bit. Yeah. Before. Yep. So here's number two, and Vanna White agrees. She's behind the camera saying, "Yep, yep." Rose, I pop off the center cap, which I gotta get two more of these. All right, well, we kind of sort of fixed the door. Still needs to be aligned. I think the latch has kind of had to be fixed. 
we cleaned the outside, kind of. I guess we kind of did what we had to do. Next time we come, hopefully we're at the wrap shop getting the vehicle wrapped. And then after that, I plan on uh, putting the lights inside the vehicle. So stay tuned. Uh, much more plus two, two episodes of Police Cars coming up. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Uh, lots of new content coming. And I'm um, looking forward to more police car and police car-ish video. So uh, with that being said, I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you.